guys, Cedar of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using cardboard boxes to make a unique and elegant coffee table. I'm making a modern style coffee table. The final result looks a little bit different from what I typically used to make. Now here's a sneak peek of what you're going to see in the end. Now all I did was just to use cardboard, open it up, turn it to the other side so that you guys can see the pattern much better. What inspired me to make this design was a photo that I had used a while back to do a wall decor. But then I love the coffee table that's on that picture. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys how I added my own twist to it to make it a little bit different to suit my style. The thickness here is about four inches. When I was done, I carved out the shape and this is what it looks like. These are seven cardboard boxes. I had used one earlier, so I used eight for this project in total. I'm gonna trace this shape on all the cardboard boxes. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is the cutting tool that I use that made my cutting a lot easier and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. It is kind of pricey but it is an investment especially if you're going to be cutting a lot and not just cardboard it makes cutting on fabric a lot easier as well. This is what I have. Now I'm going to split it into two. Now I'm going to glue all the pieces together. This is two inches thick and for both of them, they are really strong and sturdy. I'm going to be using a board in between them. I'll be joining a couple of boards together to make it long enough to go around what I just made.
some of them are irregular so i'm going to be using duct tape to hold the pieces together and also keep them firm no matter what I've just finished with the bottom part. Now I'm going to be adding cardboard to join the parts at the top. Because I want my design to be a little bit different, I'll be using one inch foam and attaching it to the shapes and then attaching them to the coffee table. I got this full leather fabric from Joann's and I love the color. It's similar to the inspiration photo that I'm using. Now I'm going to trace out what I just made on the fabric and then leave about three inches on all of the sides before cutting. I made two of these and I'm going to be attaching it to the body of the coffee table with a hot glue gun and a strong adhesive. Now I'm going to be gluing on the same full leather fabric at the top and at the bottom. When I was done, I noticed one side was neat and the other side was kind of rough. So because of that, I would have to cover the rough sides with bling wrap. Now for the sake of uniformity, I'm going to have to cover both sides with bling wrap. Now here's what the coffee table looks like. It is so unique and different. Another option to cover up the cardboard boxes instead of using leather would be to use plaster of Paris. Now this is gonna give you a different kind of finishing. It will require sanding. And then when you have a smooth finish, you paint over it. Either way, you're still gonna come out with a nice coffee table because the shape itself is what makes it pretty and unique. 
I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Created a space In my head it was empty